Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make faux or fake books for your bookshelf. They come out great. And I show you a few different variations, like look, you can see. For this project, we use just a few basic materials, including paint and two inch thick expanded polystyrene foam. Dioramas, origami, cat, pulse, and treasure shades, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model box, and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, we're making these books for bookshelves in the wizard's lair, or wizard's sanctum. And I got more books to make. So the first thing you do is you measure out how big your shelf is so you know how big to make your shelf of full books. So cut yourself some foam. This is two inch thick XPX, XPS foam that um, I bought in the Home Depot. And there's a lot of different types of foam you can use. But measure out your books how you want them. They can be all the same size or they can be various heights. I, I like the various heights. And then cut them out. And this foam is really easy to cut. Put a little bit of sandpaper on a block of foam. And then you can use that to sand everything smooth. Check it. Looks good. I like it. So let's go ahead and make the books. This is how you put the, the dividing line between each book. Is um, cut a line right down the border between the books. And then you cut two more lines at 45 degree angles. So you can, it makes a notch, makes a V-shaped notch. You do one one way. Then you turn it around and do it the other way. Easy enough. So you do this between all your books. And then you run some sandpaper between it to smooth it out and to define it a little bit. And round it out a little bit. So it looks more like books. A little bit rounded. And stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to actually give you some tips on uh, making books. So there you go. It looks good. Now, optionally, you can paint the tops of those books white, leaving a little bit around the edge so you can do the, um, the book cover color. But white is for the pages. So we paint it by painting all of the books black first. And this will give us a really good look and a good um, soft feel. And then paint each book the color you prefer. There's a whole bunch of colors you can use. Actually, you can use any color you want. But there you go, we used green, blue, and red. I like it. And then you go ahead and paint the spines. Um, add the, uh, any ornaments, decorations, or um, words that you want to the spines. And seeing as this is Wizard's Lair, we have potion books, alchemy, and a... Um, Gold pen is wonderful. Gold marker is wonderful for this. Gold marker, silver marker. Really kind of nice. But you have fun with it and do it any way you want. You can also print up using um, any script you choose titles and then glue those onto the spines of the books. And of course we have Dragons 1, Dragons 2, and Dragons 3. <laughs> and now, optionally, you can age the books a little bit so they look like they've been sitting there a long time. They're old with water and a little bit of black paint. So it's very, um, very wet wash kind of thing and dab some of it off. So that ages it. There you go, looks good. 
you have created a shelf of books. Now let me show you some optional things that are kind of neat. Say you want something like this with a bookend to hold it. So yeah, that's real simple to do. You just uh, make yourself, cut yourself a piece of foam and uh, glue it on the end, the shape of a book and glue it on the end. Now some details, you can have uh, bands on your books, like this, and when you press it with a pen, that gives it a three-dimensional feel. And you can also do something like this, these are the raised bands on books, you've seen these on older books, or higher quality books, and those are easy enough to do. You can just cut away with uh, an X-Acto knife, or you can use... Um, a emery paper or even sandpaper, but you mark them with a pen or a marker and then cut them away, leaving those raised bands alone. You cut away around them. And that's pretty much it. Fun little tutorial, quick, easy to do. And uh, see, here's some wonderful designs you can do. Just have fun with them. All kinds of wonderful stuff you can do with single books, or including. There we go. A bunch more books for our wizard's lair. More on this project coming. Thanks. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.